Coming up in this video, I take you to see my first exhibition of sketchbooks in Porflevin. I catch up with Crixis and we visit Pippa's joint exhibition at Colour Coast Canvas on Roskilly Farm. I share snippets from the many workshops I ran during this month and then back in the studio package up orders of my 2023 sketch calendar and then catch up with you on the progress of my sketch walk course. I don't know about you, but the days here have been so busy with a mix of client work, workshop prep, product sales and course writing that at times it's felt quite overwhelming. But the other day, as the weather was so nice, I made an effort to pack up my art supplies and took myself out on a sketch walk. I went down to a familiar place, filmed some of the old cottages and took time to enjoy the sunshine. I then walked up along the coastal path and found a spot to sketch. No matter how much is going on, I always feel so relaxed once I've spent time outside, soaking up the rays and drawing the landscape. Even with the weather now beginning to turn, I'm still managing to grab a few moments here and there to sketch, either on my own, or as I did the other day with a friend. That's very cute. In my last vlog I mentioned that I was preparing for an exhibition in Port Flevin, and that happened at the end of September. It was a wild day, both in terms of weather and workshops. Over the course of the day I led 8 adults and 25 children in 3 sketch walks. We encountered not one, but 5 rain showers. It didn't deter us, even when our pages were soggy, we persevered. For me, a highlight of the day was talking with visitors about my sketchbooks, getting to hear and see their reaction in person. I know not all of us have that opportunity to exhibit our work, but just sharing your sketchbooks with a friend or a relative really does make a difference to how you view your work. Talking of exhibitions, Crixis and I visited the South Coast Collective exhibition at the Colour Coast Canvas Gallery down on Roskilly Farm. Our friend Pippa was exhibiting her work alongside two other artists. Pippa's colourful ceramics featured alongside black and white, lino prints and monochrome textured abstracts. Again, it was lovely to view the work in person and catch up with Pippa, as well as meet and chat with the other artists. Similar colour, so maybe I should get one bluer tone. Like more turquoise. Oh, yeah, the, like over that side. Yeah. Crixis purchased one of Pippa's mugs, which I'm sure will be well used during this autumn season.
actually how I draw trees. I love the um, light on them as well. Dappled light. And the texture. Look at this texture. Let me have a closer look. Oh, wow. Isn't it amazing? That they look like they're um, peeling. Yeah. Okay, I will. <laughs> I have to start my stuff. <laughs> Are you having a good drink, Claire? <sighs> oh. Now you could get them. They wouldn't be. Over the month, I led a few more sketching workshops, a pumpkin themed one for the ladies at Bits and Bobbins, a history based theatre sketch walk at the Hall for Cornwall in Truro City Centre. and a harbourside sketch walk in the fishing village of Coverack. What's been really nice is being able to deliver these workshops in a range of places with a range of people. Thank you. Thanks again. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. That was lovely. Thank have now arrived and I will be packing them up over the next couple of days but very excited everyone who's ordered one thank you so much I will be sending them out over this week and you'll soon get to be holding your own calendar back in the studio my calendars have now arrived and I'm now wrapping them up and sending them out. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, I will have posted out all my pre-orders and then I can just post orders out if and when they come in. I'd pick up one of those. How come they can be so big? <laughs> can you lift it? No. no. Wow, that's so heavy.
Hi guys, so I thought I'd end this vlog by sharing with you the progress on my sketch walk course. I'm currently looking at the site now and um, trying to build it out. I've written the course curriculum. I would say I've filmed 75% of it. I've still got a lot to edit. Um, but I can definitely see an end in sight. So I'm using a platform called Teachable and I pay an amount each month to host on there and it means all my videos will be on there. The classes themselves will be a combination of videos, text, PDF documents, questions. Um, so it'll be quite mixed. But hopefully it will give you all the information you need for sketching, sketching on location. It's really exciting actually now to see things coming together. I think for a number of months it has felt like I'm not getting anywhere and I'm just doing a lot of work and it felt like things weren't happening but now that I've actually got this site it now begins to feel like it's coming together. So if you want to check it out it is live the site. The course isn't up yet, the course isn't done but you can check out the site and I'll leave the link in the description box below. You are the first though to hear about this, I haven't advertised this anywhere else um, so you guys if you've got to this point in the video you are probably one of the first people to hear about this. So yeah, I'm excited to share it with you. I hope you guys are well and I'll speak to you again really soon.